Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Steelers reaction video. Today, we got the Steelers Bengals in Cincinnati. Steelers looking for the revenge, but... I mean... I don't really know how to explain this, but... Actually, I do. We suck. We suck a lot. Defense looks absolutely deflating. Offense has been a struggle for, uh, I want to say, since Antonio Brown left. And, yeah. That's really it. So, do I want to watch these highlights? Absolutely not. Are we gonna? Absolutely. So, <laughs> let's get right into this uh, absolute... Let's just say... I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Joe Mixon right here takes it through the hole. Okay. Look at look at Devin Bush on this play. I don't I don't want to keep on rewinding it, but like look at this. Okay? Look at number 55. Boom. He hits the hole. Instead of like look, he engages with the blocker. Don't engage with the blocker. Fill your gap in the hole where Joe Mixon's running and tackle him. Instead of engaging with the blocker and then oh He's a step ahead of me. Let me try and reach out my arm and tackle him. No. You step in your gap. Your gap. As a linebacker, your your assignment is to play your gap if it's a run. Or if you're blitzing. If it's a pass, obviously you play your zone and stuff like that. But if you're if it's a run, you play your gap. You don't engage with a blocker. You go for the guy with the ball. Devin Bush just is I feel like he's just not there mentally this season. Obviously, he's coming back from an ACL, but you can't really defend it like what are we, 10 games into the season? 11, 12 games? Like, come on. He's got to be better. And, but they, they, they pulled him, bro. They pulled him. After, like, five plays yesterday, they, they pulled him. And can you blame them? No, you can't. Like, Robbie Spillane did great last year. But, uh, right here, Joe Burrow just gets right past. I believe that was Minka. Just dives right through him right there. And, yeah. I mean, even as a Steelers fan, like, how, how do you hate Joe Burrow? Like, I, I watched him in college. I'm pretty sure everybody watched him in college. Like, who didn't? Um, but, yeah, how do you hate Joe Burrow? You can't. <laughs> and that, that was just bad, bad throw, bad route, whatever. Just bad play right there. But, luckily, I believe that was Najee tackled him. So, yeah, but how do you let a guy like Eli Apple pick you off? Man's just horrible on the Giants. I don't know how he's playing in Cincy, but, like, he probably sucks there, too. I don't know. But luckily, we have a goal line stand and sack Joe Burrow right there. The only highlights of today of the defense is a sack. And we hold him to three. But, yeah, this offense just... Uh, not, not the Bengals offense. I'm talking about the Steelers offense. Just not looking too good. So, Ben takes another deep shot. Claypool, like, they were connecting on the deep shots today besides the one where I believe he tripped up or got pushed out. I don't really remember, uh, but something happened. I don't know. But, yeah, I love Deontay Johnson. I recently traded for him in fantasy because I know he's the number one target on our team. But, yeah, like, he most of his, like, catches yesterday came in garbage time trying to score a garbage touchdown. Like, right there... Like, it looked like Eli Apple shoved him in the back, but I don't know if they got their feet tangled up during the play, but I didn't I didn't look at the feet, so I mean, I don't know. But Chris Money Boswell is lit. Boop. Yeah, you know? So, the wind helped him out right there. But he's like our only Pro Bowl player this season. Him, Cam Hayward, and TJ Watt. T. Higgins, no, Tyler Boyd is the one that played at Pitt. I like watching Tyler Boyd play. Like, that's a great block by their receiver. Uh, Arthur Millette is absolutely horrible, in my opinion. He Every time I see that man's on the field, he's always getting burnt somewhere. Okay, take a look. Look how far back James Pierre is playing. And he still gets, like, mossed and burnt. Like, how, does, how do you do that as a corner? You're playing 15 yards off the ball. And you still get burnt and mossed. Like, come on, man. I believe that would have been Joe Hayden's spot. I don't know what he's complaining about. You literally just got bodied. Um, There's nothing you should complain about. You should, I don't know, complain about your work habits, I guess. Don't get mossed. Fry and Muth right there. Great catch and run on third and six. I, I mean, it's a divisional game that should not be a flag. Should not. 
but I feel like if it was any other game, that might have been called. Uh, I don't know what the flag is for, but Claypool wide open across the middle for a first. I don't know if it's going to be a first. I don't know. I don't remember the call. But Ben, great catch right there, but that has to be the greatest one-yard catch I've ever seen. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, we pumped the ball away once again. Missed tackle right there. That would have been huge by Cam Sutton. Another missed tackle right there, and Jamar Chase goes for a first down. So, yeah. Oh, not to mention, we're also down by 14 points right now. Great sack right there by Cam Hayward. And boom! Our only highlight of the day! Dude, I'm not even going to lie. Cam Hayward is playing at a defensive player of the year right now. Like, he is playing at that kind of play right now. Like, he should get some recognition. I don't think he's going to win it, personally, because they're not going to give it to a Steelers player. They never will. Like, look at the past two years where TJ Watt got robbed the defensive player of the year. And even last year. Last year was the biggest rob I've ever seen. He had, statistically, better stats in every single category besides one than Aaron Donald, and they gave it to Aaron Donald. But that doesn't matter this year because look at our defense playing. It's absolutely amazing. But, uh, this is just... Like, I just don't know, like, what is wrong with our defense. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, we're healthy besides Joe Hayden, so, I mean, it's just, we're just not playing good. Like, we just can't tackle. Like, obviously helping stop the run up the middle with Tyson Alualu and Stefan Tua healthy. But, Alualu has been missing since, like, I want to say the second game. And Stefanso has been there this season, so you can't really say that. The next man has to stand up and just... Chris Wormley, I like him. It's just other players just aren't getting the job done. But yeah, down by 21. Ben holds it. Claypool has to catch this ball right here. He has to. Like, and down by 21, I don't know why we're not going for it, in my opinion. Why are we not going for it? But hey... I don't know. I'm not an NFL coach, so I wouldn't know. But, yeah. Yeah, first and 10 for the Bengals. Once again, Joe Burrow goes to a nice little mid-pass right there to, again to T. Higgins. Like, James Pierre played horrible today. Like, you can't even, like, like look at the tape, man. I thought that was Joe Burrow for a second, but that's Joe Mixon. Doesn't matter. Joe's in Cincinnati be killing us today. But... Cam got a hand in the face, and Minka got the pick, and he stays in bounds. But hey, another defensive highlight, surprisingly. Great tackle by another pit player, Tyler Boyd. And like, I don't know what that was, but... That should have been a flag on 67, but they're just gonna... It's a divisional game, they're gonna let us play. But like, Mike Hilton, great read right here. It's just sloppy ball, in my opinion. Like, it was just, you see him on his back. You don't think that if you don't step up into that throw, it's not going to be a pick. Like, bad decision right there. But also bad blocking by the offensive line, not giving him space. Like, a big reason why this offense is doing horrible this year is because of the offensive line. You need a, at least a competent offensive line to just be a decent football team. But, like, like look, Ben just gets pressured again, and... He just has nowhere to go. Like, I mean, that was, I would say that was a coverage sack right there, but the pocket collapsed within like four or five seconds, which is an eternity in a backfield. And Ben steps up and gets tripped. Not tripped. I mean, tripped, yeah, but tackled by his ankles. I would put that betterly say like that. But awesome offense right here. We're looking insane. By the way it looks, we're probably going to win the Super Bowl this year. Another pump fake by Ben, and he gets hit from behind and strip sacked. Ugh. Oh! This play right here, man. Ah! I know, like, you're a defensive end, you're not, like, doing ball catching drills. But that's thrown right to you. He's just got to catch it and boom, wheel it in. Unfortunately, he couldn't. But good play by Joe Mixon right there if you didn't see it. 
And the reason why this wasn't a first down is because Jamar Chase ran back himself. Like, hand swap. Ow! Twisted my wrist. My wrist is pretty much broken still, but that hurt. <laughs> I hit it on my table. But we stopped them. Oh, but they still put up three. It doesn't even matter. We're down by who knows how many. I don't know how to count that high, so I, mean, I don't know. All I want is this highlight to be... I don't even... I mean, highlights for the Bengals, yes. Like, out for highlights for the Steelers? Absolutely not. All I can do here is sit here and watch. Great bootleg right there. You, you can't even lie about that. They marked him down, but, like, at this point, just give him the touchdown. Like, just give him a touchdown. I know it's like you got to call the rules, but just give him a touchdown. I'm sure Joe Mixon fantasy owners are happy, man. It's dropping 32. I know someone who's not happy about that because, you know, someone didn't get him in a trade that I know because I vetoed it. You're welcome. Little does he know. He doesn't know that. And he probably never will. That's all, that's all right. But yeah, Ben deep shot again. Claypool, Ben, I would say solid. Like they they can they connected good, but Claypool's got to do better right there. Why are you talking shit when you're fucking down by 38 points? Great catch right there, but I think Frymuth got a concussion on that play. He was tested for a concussion after the game. I don't know how he's doing, cause I'm not in the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. All I know is what they update me on Twitter. But yeah, that is it. That's it. that's it of that. Like they, I don't know how many rushing yards they rush on us, but like they rushed a lot. Let's all let's just say that. And we have the Ravens next week. It's pretty interesting, you know, because uh, they're I would say they're the best rushing team in the league. I mean, you could say the Browns, but like overall quarterback running backs they're the best rushing team in the league so we'll see how that goes uh if you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new yeah this was a good week not really uh it's it's depressing see y'all next week yeah like i said already drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new would mean a lot and i'll see y'all in the next one Peace. Oh.